Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. What's up guys, Alcoin Sherpa here with a crypto market review. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not an expert. Do your own research. Uh, so let's just look at BTC USD on the weekly. Uh, in my opinion, we're still in a bullish market structure. On high time frame charts, uh, there's number one, the last lows around 40K uh, have not been broken. And it was almost a certainty, in my opinion, that we would uh, make a higher low compared to this 40k area like if we went from 70 to like in the 30s that would have like without establishing a low that would have been very surprising to me uh, and i didn't really expect that at all i expected this to form some sort of higher low i, I didn't know where the low was going to form i personally thought 48k of course it nuked down to uh even lower it's like 41 but uh, to me, I was look, always looking at this 48k area for several reasons. I'll show that more on the daily. But what are the reasons why this did not go to 100k from this uh, 30k base? Uh, there's a few reasons in my opinion, and I was talking about this with a friend as well. And the reason in my opinion was that we formed a base around uh, 30k. 30 to 40k was where we formed this uh, multi-week base and we went all the way up from 30k to 70k and as you know the longer that you form a base the longer the accumulation pattern the more explosive the move so for instance that's the reason why we were able to go from basically 10k to 60k was because this base that we established all the way from uh, essentially uh, July of 2019 all the way to uh, you know November of 2020 price really didn't move like a massive amount obviously I mean uh, in terms of the upside it was just an accumulation pattern where price chopped around for uh, several months obviously it nuked down so I mean I, I can't say that it was an accumulation in the sense that um, you know price went from 12k to 3k or whatever the hell it did <laughs> um or 4k during the nuke but the the what i'm trying to say is that price established a base all throughout 2020 after the big COVID nuke it made a v-shape reversal something that we have not really seen so much in crypto uh, for bitcoin specifically and then it chopped around for several several uh, months after and that's why the move from 10k to 60k was so explosive was because it accumulated for so long so where am i trying to go with this i'm trying to basically say that um this did have a strong base here um from may to july but going from 30k to 100k is something that's pretty difficult to do uh, unless this chopped around longer so if price chopped around longer uh, you know, all throughout September and October, then I think that it would have gone from, you know, 30K to 100K. But because it only accumulated for this long, uh, going from 30 to 70, and now it, now, and now it needs to reestablish uh, a base where I think that we'll see some sort of chop anywhere from like the 40K to 40 to 50K area. Uh, I, it's not going to go this long. It'd probably go from like... Um, I don't know, like, like this, like, I, I, in my opinion, I'm expecting like sometime in January or maybe February for this to start really trying, uh, truly moving. Uh, I am expecting some consolidation after this big move down from 70 to, uh, 40. And I think it makes sense for price to just chop around for a little while, uh, bearing some unforeseen macro circumstances. Um, so those are kind of my overall like macro view thoughts on BTC USD. Like I am still very bullish, and the reason is that we have established a higher low. Um, the type of price action that I am now expecting is for us to create some sort of lower high in the short term, very similar to what this price action was in July. So we, as you guys know, markets move in typically three different ways. Number one is a strong bull trend. We saw all of 2021 uh, in the early parts. And then we see a bearish market structure where we see price obviously nuking down. I'll just 
to note this in colors so it's easier visually. And the third uh, pattern is an accumulation pattern where price just chops around, doesn't really do anything, uh, and just ranges, consolidation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in my opinion, this is similar to what we will are going to see. Um, and this isn't really necessarily a fractal like that I'm really looking at specifically, but I do believe that we will see some sort of like, you know, move up, move down, oopsies. And now I think it's time to hit some sort of consolidation. So like this. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see this, um, you know, something like this. Just like go ahead and form a base. I, I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, I'll be surprised if it's as strong, as long as the May to July range. Um, a few reasons. Contextually, like this was distribution. Uh, I, if you guys remember the streams, I was a little bit concerned because I thought we made perhaps a lower high and perhaps a lower low. And this is more typical of distribution at the top of a range. Uh, not the top of a range, at the top of a... Um, like when an asset is starting to like weaken in terms of the trend. So like when you start to see stuff like this, that is usually a sign of distribution. And I'd be surprised personally if this is just it. Like if we're just hitting a bear market at this point and like, you know, people say, okay, we're done. To me, if price inval if, if price closes below 39.8k on high time frame charts and really starts to uh, like go into like the mid 3ks, then I think we're just done for a while. But to me, like this higher this low established in 39k in the end of September should still hold, um, and I don't believe that a lower low will form personally. Um, so, as I said, I'm expecting something similar to what we saw back in July to September. So, I think we'll chop around for a little bit, um, maybe all the way into January. I think we start to grind up, and then we hit some sort of lower high around 60k, pull back, and then I think we like to start to really moon hard in the spring. Um, so, similar to what we saw back here in September, like, you know, we see this lower high, and if it does hit a lower high and then it goes to a lower low at that point, then I think then it's very scary. You know, if we hit to like 38K or whatever, then to me, that would be like a lower high and a lower low. But this hit a lower high from September. And, um, but the in interesting thing is that it hit a higher low uh, back in the later parts of September. So after it hit a higher low from like these lows that were established, um, to me that 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 spelled that we all were in a bullish market structure at that point now you could say that maybe this is just like a higher high from these uh this ranging environment but um but i have seen lots of like in 2018 the charts were similar to this where it, it made like a lower high and then it just like made a lower low so you know it was just like a bearish retest all around so um to me, this like this was still a lower high compared to these highs back in May, and the trigger for me for it being a bullish market structure was that this was a higher low established. So that's what I'm really looking for uh, over the next several days, is not several days, several weeks, is I do believe that we'll hit some sort of ranging consolidation, we'll hit some sort of lower high. I, I don't know where it will be. Um, you know, 60K, like 65K, I, you know, again, I don't know where it's going to be. Um, and then to me, where we see the low, that's going to be like the trigger for me on where I think price is going to go. So I still believe, I'm still of the opinion that this is a bullish market structure and that um, we are going to go to all-time highs. I just don't know. It's going to take longer than I thought. Like, you know, for instance, like I believed that from this base of, 30k i thought we were going to go run all the way to 100 but i think that was just euphoria talking and me um kind of realizing now that we needed to kind of chop around and establish some sort of higher low before we move get to that move so a friend of mine actually we talked about this a little bit and this kind of reminded me of like 2019 so you can see similar situations uh where um 
like price established a base obviously this was the ranging environment this was the bottom of the market and when i sold two digits worth of bitcoin yeah i'm an idiot uh and then price went back up to like uh you know, kind of like it grinded up and filled this inefficiency out, and then it hit this kind of resistance area here around 6k or 5500, and then it continued higher. Um, now, like, why didn't this go all the way to 20k? Obviously, uh, the reason is that it's accumulated for a really long time from December to April. Um, but similarly, it needed to establish a base all the way, uh, like that's. It's why it didn't go all the way higher is because this needed to establish a, a higher base. Uh, going from 3 k to 14 k was very impressive, but uh, the reason why it didn't go all the way to 20 k was that it was already overextended. Um, and you generally need to see some sort of consolidation unless it chops around for a really long time back in like it did in, in 2020, where you had very long periods of accumulation all throughout 2020. Uh, I mean looking back now it's so easy to see in hindsight but uh you know it just did chopped around for such a long time plus uh this v-shaped reversal obviously there was like like a ton and ton of liquidations during this uh period that was a very scary time but a lot of money got picked up uh during during this uh during this time period okay so uh, as i said before um i am expecting some sort of ranging consolidation and then a lower high um, followed by a higher low, personally. That's kind of what I'm expecting. Um, let's go into a few other levels. Uh, why I was interested in this 48K area from a long time ago. Uh, a few reasons. High volume node around this area. As you can see, this is like an area of support. Generally, where people find fair value for Bitcoin, around 48K. Anywhere from like 45 to 50K, kind of like this area. You can see with this high volume node, the 200 day EMA is traditionally a strong place to bid as well. Um, and that's currently where price is at. I'm expecting price to in interact a lot with that level, similarly to how we saw it back in uh, May of 2021, as well as the consolidation periods um, kind of along this area. Although I can see that it never really retested uh, the the 200 day EMA all throughout 2020. So never mind that. Um, this is an area, as I said, that I am viewing personally. I mean, it's a high volume node. It's 200 day EMA. It is a support level on the horizontal. Um, this area, in my opinion, is an area where I'm expecting price to kind of uh, chop around. Now, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see price go to like 44K or 42K or something like that. Like this is pretty common after you see big wicks down. Um, for instance, if you look back at other big liquidation situations, uh, I'll clean this chart up a little bit right here. You'll almost always see that price wants to come back down close to those levels. So let's take a look at this area here. You can see price liquidates like big liquidations, big wicks down, and then price comes back down similar. Um, and you can usually see it off this first initial wick too. Like you might see some downward moves and then consolidation and then like the big wick down which is what this big wick was right here um and you can obviously see it back here where like you know you see big move down consolidation and then like the big wick down here uh you can see this price was established down at 30k and then price wicked down like several times before uh, moving higher uh similar here like you know again big wick down and then the price came back down again uh same here price big wick down and then price came back down again you you just like really see this it's very common in crypto uh again big wick down here and you'll see price come back down so in my opinion it's very common for price to come back down uh and this is what i'm expecting i bids in the 44 case um like let's see if i hit it i don't know if i will or not but uh i am expecting like you know just choppy price action so like you know we'll see like move down here and then we'll like see come like you know we'll see it chop all around and what does that mean for all coins during this environment in my opinion it means that your altcoin should be very short for your targets look for the five percent or two percent or whatever moves don't look for the like 50 percent or 25 percent moves um because all coins they're going to move like they're essentially leveraged bitcoin positions in general like you know they'll move harder in both directions like higher beta so um You'll definitely want to keep your overall um, altcoin trades pretty short. So, in my opinion, I think this is like 
this is still going to be the relative bottom. Like, I would be very surprised if Bitcoin just starts going into 30Ks on high time frame charts uh, from here. It's similar, like, I had very strong conviction that, um, like, price would hit 50K back during uh, May before it hit new lows and on high time frame charts. And I was, like, pretty, I was, like, willing to die on that hill. And I feel pretty strongly about this as well, where I think that price chops around, um, establishes a low and then like you know it certainly could go to like 42k again or 44k or whatever and that's ex exactly what i'm expecting but um this is the time to like just dollar cost average into bitcoin uh and in my opinion actually ethereum the, the eth chart looks better than bitcoin so you know i think that eth probably leads the market and i'll probably do a video on that tomorrow or the next day but anyways this video is already a little bit long so hopefully you guys enjoyed it um Please let me know what you guys think. Thank you very much.